Hey guys, I'm back with another GoPro tips and tricks video. In this video, I'm going to be unboxing the RAM standard and long extender bar with the double socket arm. So what this is, is it's two, it's two RAM socket arms, one standard length socket arm, and then one long socket arm, as well as a uh, one inch to one inch ball adapter. So this means that we can mount um, basically it gives you double the versatility because you get this one long one and the one short one and then you mount this onto whatever you're mounting it onto and this piece here can hang off and then your camera can go on the end. So let's just put together a little scenario here with this. There's a GoPro mounted onto the one inch ball system using the GoPro one inch ball to or the a ball to one inch GoPro adapter and then also something like a suction cup mount. So there's a suction cup mount. We can stick this onto our car or whatever we want to lock it down, then we can grab this one, unwind it, snap it onto there, lock that down, then we can get this other end, we can unwind this one, then we can stick our GoPro in here, and we can see instantly that we have a huge, not even frame, we have a huge amount of flexibility in the length that our GoPro can reach and the different angles we can achieve. So if you really want to get far away from the side of the car or you want to get kind of an aerial view on something, using extender bars like this can be a good idea. One thing to note is using this with something like the magnet mount may not be the best idea ever because um, this will add a lot of leverage and a lot of um, force to pull one side of the mount up. I'd even be a little bit um, worried about using it with the, the such cut mount. Again, I'm going to test it out and see what happens, but um, just kind of use it with caution and use it with some secure mount. Something like using this with their ATV, um, the version of the roll bar mount, could be a really good option because this is a super secure mount. You can wind it onto something really, really well and then you can throw together a couple of these extender bars and get some really awesome kind of wide angle shots from farther away from the vehicle or whatever you're mounting onto. If you meet your ATV, your kayak or something with this could give you a great shot of it. So guys, thanks for watching. That was another GoPro tips and tricks video. If you've enjoyed it, please make sure you subscribe. Check out my channel for lots more videos and like the video. If you've got any questions or comments, please leave them below. Uh, one thing, uh, if you really want, if you want to talk, tell me about, or any mounts you'd like to see featured on the show, I'd be happy to try to pick them up so we can uh, have a look at them, do a little reviews of them. So if you've got any of those, leave them below, and I will uh, be sure to check them out. And uh, in the meantime, guys, if you've got any questions, uh, post them on the Facebook page, post them in the comments, and I'll try to get back to you. But uh, YouTube is being kind of silly with their comment system, and sometimes I'm having trouble responding to some of you. So if I haven't got back to you, head on over to the YouTube Tips Facebook page, post there. And if you're posted there, I will be sure, sure to get back to you. I read every comment that's posted on the videos, but um, sometimes right now responding to them is getting a little difficult. So guys, thanks for watching. So guys. Until next time, thanks for watching.